Hey everybody, this is just a, a quick one, something Paul you had an idea of. You might notice this, we've got this lar rather large box here, which uh, we're lined with a bit of weed mat. We've put some soil in the bottom that we'd salvaged by when we had a lot of sods of grass when we first got the plot, we'd put it all in bags and let it rot in bags. So we put some of that in, then we put quite a bit of horse manure in, and then we just put compost on the top. And we've left it. It's been six months it's been sat here like that. So now what we're going to do, because we're getting desperate in the greenhouse, we've got to do something with our butternuts and some of our other things. So the starting point is here. We've put some weed mat over the top just to make weeding easier and we're going to put four butternuts in here that might be too many we don't know we'll find out probably about the same time you do when we when we show you on here now tips from mr davidson we're learning we've only been at it a couple of years now so we're learning Bit of this uh, microcausal fungi just to help, root, to help promote root growth in each one. And then might as well have a bit of planting magic as well. And we will put these buttons in. As you can see, they're now quite nice plants. Coming, starting to get buds so they you know they're ready to start producing squash and as you can see they're quite uh, you know they've been getting a bit tight in the pot even though we've potted them on into these larger pots so we'll get these in there and firm them down and as they come out we'll try and train them so there's one what we'll do when I've got the others in, if we think the weather's going to be anything untoward, we will put uh, a fleece over it. Although, from what I can see round here, from the forecast I've, I've looked at, it's not exactly force, forecast to be low temperatures. Nothing below eight degrees until for at least another two weeks, so. That's going to take us back to the middle of June, which I'm really rather hoping would make it a pretty safe bet. Uh, here in the north of England, where we can't say where we are because of the regulations, but we're good, we're good allotments here. We'll, we'll abide by the regulations, we voted on it, we understand the logic, and we'll go by it. So, I've got another three of the, these buttons now. I'll show you in a minute, as you can see also, you know, roots start to come through the bottom of the pot, so they really do want to move. Really, really want to move, don't they? Break these up a little bit to get them to spread out. And that's a very healthy looking plant. Now we've got another one of these uh, boxes on Karen's plot. Now I don't know. We've got some more butternuts that we can put in, but we've also got some uh, courgettes, and it might be nice to do courgettes in that one. So we'll show you that later, and we'll keep you up to date on how how everything's going. Hopefully in a couple of weeks we'll be fighting to get past here because there'll be butternut squash and courgettes all over the place. And I'll give this a good watering in a minute just to make sure it's 
that's not too dry in there and that will be it hi we're in our greenhouse now and Paul has just made a random discovery one of our uh, strawberry plants appears to have uh, decided to sublet part of its pot to two tomato plants now we don't know what the end result of this is going to be but it might be a new way of uh, growing high and low strawberries low tomatoes high but uh, this might be an interesting thing to see what happens in the end of the year but we'll keep you informed on that um, we was talking to Mark Davidson earlier and he said bloody hell look at that sweet corn of yours it's, t it's taller than you we need to get it out and we're trying to debate whether we can just about get away with it now or wait for another week and put it out because it really does need to go out anyway we're just going to go over to our Karen's plot now and as we plotted the uh, butternut squash in, the, in, in that uh, container well we have another container similarly prepared on Karen's plot and the intention is to go and put some courgettes in there maybe four courgettes, two different varieties, gold and green but in all cases where we've done this, because we're a bit chicken, we've decided to keep some in the greenhouse just in case it all goes tits up. Pardon my French. Oops, bye. <coughs> Hi, we're on Karen's spot now. As I said, we're going to put some courgettes here. Not going to bore you too much with it. Similar, well, not using a similar process, it's exactly the same process. But in this instance, we're putting courgettes in, we're putting four courgettes in again. We're doing all the same microcausal fungi and uh, grow more. Now, we're here, we're under, under the, uh, sh this is under the shade of a, of a pear tree, quite prolific. Hopefully a bit uh, better quality than last year. Now we've had a chance to prune it back and do some things. As you can see, these are flat, starting to flower already. This one is a uh, courgette gold. We started it on the 28th of the 3rd from seed. So we've got, we're going to put two of these courgette golds in, which, as you can see, there's had a bit of grow more in on the way round. They're not as uh, heavily pot bound as the uh, butternuts were. So we'll see how they go now here we go in we go and around uh, we'll put four in as I say and we'll show you that when they're all in it's pointless me going through this four times for you and wasting your time you've seen one go in I'll show you the end result in a minute see you soon mate right well there we are all four planted we've got two gold ones and two green ones, ram or something or other, can't remember how to pronounce it, so pardon me for that. And just to make sure now, a good water on this thing, I'm not, I'm not actually watering near the uh, cars yet, so I'm letting it seep round them, because when I tried to water near the butternut, it tended to try and wash some of the uh, soil away and expose the roots, which I didn't want, so I'm going to put a couple of... Uh, watering cans full of water in there just to make sure it's not too dry because there's been nothing in there for a long time and we'll keep you informed we'll keep you updated and we'll let you see the end result hopefully in a, <coughs> in a period of time we'll have courgettes hanging over the edge <coughs> trailing now last year some of our courgettes got away from us and we had two of them that ended up at three kilos each so now they're currently in my garage trying to become marrow rum that is a different story bye